Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So Colorado is now the first state to rule that Donald Trump is not allowed to run for office because of his involvement in the January 6th insurrection. And I'm gonna share with you what MAGA is trying to do that is not gonna work. Um, as you all know, the Secretary of State said she didn't have the authority to keep Trump off of the primary ballot, so a lawsuit was filed. The judge found that Trump did engage in an insurrection, but she wasn't convinced that the president was included in that 14th Amendment clause to prevent him from running for office. So the matter was appealed. Now a majority of the Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that Donald Trump, quote, is disqualified from holding the office of president under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution. They also wrote, quote, President Trump asks us to hold that Section 3 disqualifies every oath-breaking insurrectionist except the most powerful one, and that it bars oath breakers from virtually every office, both state and federal, except for the highest one in the land. Both results are inconsistent with the plain language and history of Section 3. So the decision was far from unanimous. Four justices ruled in favor of removing Trump, three ruled against it. And I should note all seven of these justices were appointed by Democratic governors, but one of the seven is a registered Republican. One of the dissenting judges said that a candidate deserves due process before they're prohibited from running, but the Constitution makes no mention of that. They, it makes no mention of a candidate being required to be found guilty before the 14th Amendment would apply. And notably, not a single one of these seven justices argued against that fact and, and the fact that he took part in an insurrection. So it seems they all agree that, yeah, he did. We believe he took part in an insurrection. They just don't agree on the procedure and the process and who makes this determination. Now, Trump's team said they're going to appeal the decision. They're going to take this to the Supreme Court. So we'll see if the Supreme Court takes the case. You know, if they refuse to, if they refuse to review it, then that allows the lower court's decision to stand. That's an easy out for them. I can't imagine that they're going to take that route, though. You know, more than likely, they're going to want to weigh in. They're going to want to make a final determination based on their own interpretation of this amendment clause. The good news is... This, this Colorado decision, this could give other states some confidence to make similar rulings. You know, se several other 14th Amendment challenges are being appealed right now. So hopefully those states will agree with Colorado. And if the Supreme Court allows the Colorado decision to stand or if they take the case and they agree with that ruling, this will absolutely be the breaking of the dam. We can expect to see challenges in every state, pretty much in the country. And I wanted to share something funny, as I mentioned earlier. MAGA, as you would expect, they're melting down about this. And they're all over social media. They're telling people, oh, write Trump's, Trump's name in on the Colorado ballot. You know, we don't care that you're keeping him off the ballot. He's going to win anyway because we're going to write him in. Well, apparently they have no clue. <laughs> this Colorado ruling prohibits the Secretary of State from even counting votes for Trump. So even if they write him in, she literally legally cannot count those votes. So shh, <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> don't, don't tell them that they're wasting their votes. Just let them do it. <laughs> anyway, I will let you all know when I hear more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber if you have not. A lot of you are watching and you're not subscribed. It's just shady. Um, and if you can donate, I really appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.